Okay, so as I probably don't even need to tell you, The Simpsons and SpongeBob SquarePants are two of the most famous animated shows of the past 30 years, with both of their early years being hailed as nothing short of revolutionary when it came to animated comedy entertainment. But the two shows, as well as their respective movies mentioned in the title of this video, have actually a great deal in common, with one major difference that I'd like to discuss in this video. Now, while I will still be talking about the shows and movies themselves, this video might be a bit more about behind the scenes stuff, so if that's not really your sort of thing, then please feel free to skip over this video. There may also be minor spoilers ahead for both movies being discussed, so if you don't want anything ruined, please proceed with caution. Alright, so let's get into it. Now, when I say The Simpsons movie and Sponge Out of Water have a lot in common, I don't mean in terms of plot or the story, because other than the stakes being much higher than usual, the movies are completely different in that regard. What I'm talking about is the circumstances surrounding both TV shows when the respective movies were made. Both shows were considered to be well past their prime when they both came out, and though far from a universally held opinion, in both cases, the movies were generally considered an improvement that harkened back to their show's golden ages, even if they weren't able to perfectly recapture the magic. However, in the case with Spongebob Many, though far from all, fans said that the TV show actually got better after the movie came out, whereas The Simpsons continued its long and steady decline, with the movie having absolutely no impact on the show's quality. Now, that's the major difference I brought up before, and I guess the question to ask is, why is that? Why was Sponge Out of Water able to breathe new life into its show, whereas the Simpsons movie couldn't? Now, the answer to that question lies in another similarity between the two movies. Who worked on them? You see, both shows started declining after key people responsible for their success left the series. But for both the Simpsons movie and Sponge Out of Water, the crew was able to get most though not all, of those people to come back, which many believe is what led to the movies being better than their respective shows were at that time. The difference was, however, that for the Simpsons movie, those people only came back for the movie, whereas for Sponge Out of Water, most of the people who returned for it also agreed to return to the show as well. And in addition to that, one key person who returned for Sponge Out of Water specifically wanted to make sure that the series was course-corrected afterwards as well, and that was none other than the creator himself, Steven Hillenburg. Now, Steven Hillenburg famously didn't want SpongeBob to go beyond three seasons, so he was one of the many people who left the show when Nickelodeon decided to continue it anyway. But then, eight years later, he became interested in doing another movie, leading to Sponge Out of Water. But he also decided at the same time to take on a more active role in the show again as well. It wasn't to the extent as before, but he was still the one who essentially cleaned house, put a new creative team in charge of the show, and made sure that quality scripts were put before deadlines because that last point was a major reason for Spongebob's decline, as Nickelodeon had hit a rut in the late 2000s and were relying almost solely on Spongebob to keep them afloat, so scripts were rushed out much faster than they had been during its golden years, leading to many subpar episodes. And Hillenburg's return, coupled with Nickelodeon coming out of that rut, allowed all of that to change. In short, he wanted to make sure that as long as it ran, Spongebob would never be dragged down to that level again. Now, by contrast with The Simpsons, series creator Matt Groening was actually one of the only people from its golden age not to leave the show, and has even stuck with it for over 30 years. However, as the show lost steam, he took a slightly more hands-off approach, 
with the one exception being the movie. He was much more involved in the production of that than the show at that point, and it was even his story treatment that was chosen out of the 10 or 12 people who wrote one. But as I mentioned earlier, none of this led to any changes for the show, with Groening even deciding to create Futurama a few years after the movie came out. So while still definitely involved with The Simpsons, it's to a much lesser extent, and he never made any major changes to its production like Hillenburg did, after the movie or otherwise. Now, my main point with all of this is that basically, The Simpsons movie was a tribute to what had been, whereas Sponge Out of Water was a sign of things to come. One was a final reunion of most of the people who created a great show, whereas the other marked major changes behind the scenes that arguably led to a mini-revival of its show. And most of this came down to the show's respective creators. Now, I am not trying to say that one is or was better than the other. I think they are both extremely talented and gifted people who gave us some of the greatest animated shows in American history. All I'm saying is that Hillenburg revamped his show after the movie, whereas Groening didn't. And I'm not faulting him for that. There are perhaps hundreds of reasons why he didn't change anything, including that he simply didn't have the power to. Because another thing to consider is the movies themselves and how well they did. Now, if you look at the reception for both movies, I think the results are very telling. Because Sponge Out of Water was found to be rather odd and off-putting by the general audience, whereas fans generally really liked it. In fact, it was even a sleeper hit, making 20 million more on its opening weekend than it was expected to, and many fans saying it was much better than they were anticipating. Whereas the Simpsons movie made about what it was expected to, and fan reactions were mostly that it was better than the show was at that point, though how much better tends to vary, but that it didn't quite live up to the hype. And I believe that's very understandable, since Spongebob had basically hit rock bottom at that point and already had a good movie under its belt. So most fans weren't expecting much and frankly thought it would be awful, while The Simpsons, though having declined in quality, would still very much generate a lot of excitement at the prospect of a movie. And the other thing to keep in mind is the general audience. You see, because The Simpsons is so iconic, the people making the movie knew that even people who weren't fans of the show would probably go see the movie, so they knew they had to keep that in mind while making it. So as a result, the movie is rather light on the more... I don't know if this is the right word to use, but fan service or stuff that only fans would get side of things, and tells its story in a way that's very easy for non-fans to understand. And that's by no means a bad thing, but it's also more likely to leave more hardcore fans disappointed because it didn't really tie in to the show as much. And then you have Sponge Out of Water. Now, some fans have interpreted the movie as an apology from Hillenburg for what had happened to the show, and I would say that's not an unfair assumption to make, because that movie embraced all things Spongebob. Plenty of references only fans would get, little fan favorite things that hadn't shown up in years making appearances, and finally, an extremely absurd tone that goes so far outside the box you can't even see it anymore. Now, like I said, the general audience found this weird and off-putting, but it was frankly something the fans needed after years of the show going more and more downhill. And the movie's surprise success, coupled with the fandom's approval of it, may have been very well what allowed Steven Hillenburg to make such drastic changes to the show. Whereas with Graining, the movie did what it was expected to, so he may not have had the leverage to change anything even if he wanted to. And just to be clear, I'm not saying one movie is better than the other here. Obviously, there are major differences between The Simpsons and SpongeBob SquarePants, and what you can and can't 
and should and shouldn't do when making a movie adaptation of each of them. If you ask me, both did the best they could and were much better than they had any right to be. I don't dispute that at all. It's what happened afterwards that I honestly think is very interesting. But I guess when you really look at it, it mostly comes down to the fact that key people behind the scenes of Spongebob decided to stay after the movie and help improve the show, whereas the people on The Simpsons wanted to move on to other things, which is very understandable. But nonetheless, no matter which show you're a fan of, and no matter what your opinion of their respective movies are, nothing can change the golden years of either of those shows. And in the end, that's what's really most important. Nothing can take away the brilliance of their early seasons, to the point that they'll probably be beloved and remembered long after we're gone, regardless of how far they declined afterwards. Alright, that's all I have to say about that. So now you tell me, how did you like the Simpsons movie and Sponge Out of Water, and how do you believe each affected their respective TV shows? Please feel free to discuss in the comments below. And remember, you are free to disagree with me about everything I said. All I want is to have a discussion, and you're free to have your own opinion of it. And thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you all next time.